Hi, my name's Dusty, and uh, I'm the singer and guitarist for Wanderers. And uh, we're having a little chitty chat with Roaring in the Pit Media. Um, well, we, by, by we, I mean me sitting in a car in the 40 degree heat down here in Adelaide. But that's all right, we'll get through. Hey, we've just released a new record. Uh, it's self titled, it's an EP, there's five tracks on it. And um, we're pumped about it. The new single uh, that's come out with it is a song called Molly. And we recorded the whole thing over the last few years through this crazy, weird pandemic. And um, we were originally meant to record it in America. And uh, anyway, we ended up doing it and it's out. And uh, yeah, we're hitting the road with it soon. And we'll be over at South by Southwest in Austin as well. So pumped about that. That's what we're doing. We're also gonna have a chat about some things that we like and some things that we do. And so I thought perhaps, so uh, one of the questions was, three favorite artists and uh, that, we're, that we've got on rotation at the moment. Probably that Silk Sonic record, of course, like like the rest of the world. It still blows my mind every listen. Uh, I've been absolutely loving Benny Sings and his album music and just anything that he does and his collaborations uh, with other people too, like especially Rex Orange County. And Benny Sings, just so good. And the song with Emily King, Miracles, absolute highlight. We will be spinning that on the road for sure. And Jordan Rakai put out a new record that's just, I don't know, that guy freaks me out. Like, I, I can't, I actually find it hard to listen to his music because it's so good that it makes me want to just give up and throw in the towel. But yeah, so those tracks, definitely. Uh, one of the favorite memories that we have as a band is that, um, well, that I have, when I remember us as a band, probably just, it was the four of us all together, seemingly on an island to ourselves. <laughs> We played a festival called the King Island Music Festival, which is a tiny island in between Victoria and Tasmania. I didn't know there was an island in between Victoria and Tasmania, but there is. And it's uh, it's just fishermen and it's a fishing industry kind of place. You dive off the jetty, you just grab bloody crayfish right there. And it might be an exaggeration, but it was cool anyway. And that was basically backstage was the jetty in the bay and it was oysters and... Um, yeah, crayfish is the writer, and it was awesome. But we had, but also they gave us a Hilux, which we had for like four days in this beautiful house, and we just got it was a forty-five minute drive from one end of the island to the other. Big waves. Uh, there was the golf course, all kinds of crazy stuff, and we, it was just us hanging out for four days on this beautiful island with uh, not too many people around. So that's my favorite memory. Nothing too crazy happened. We got a bit sunburnt, but it was cool. And uh, what else? Uh, I reckon uh, uh, a spot that you can come to when you're in Adelaide, there's a few, there's a few good ones. Milosh, our bass player, he likes to go hiking, loves hiking. Mount Lofty is a good one. If, you, if you've got some good quads and you're feeling up to the challenge, get up to the top. It's a good view. You see the whole place. It's awesome. And uh, Milosh also likes to, I'm just going to recommend places that Milosh goes. He's our bass player. He would uh, probably recommend you go down south to Parsons or Waipinga. There's good surf down there, but also if you'd like to jump off mountains like he does and, and hang glide, um, then then do that as well. That's fun. Otherwise, go to go to Memphis Slims or go to any of the cool joints that we've got in the city. There's some great bars at the moment and some good live music venues. Adelaide's all right. Get down here. Check it out. It's not bad. Anyway, there's a few things. There's a bit of a chit chat. I hope that was all right. And um, we'll see you out on the road. Seems oh, so sorry.